Hold up, the talking had to stop at five past six tonight when both coaches had to show their hands after a week of speculation as to exactly who would line up in the green and the blue. These then, the starting selections of Josef Benglos and Dick Advocat. Celtic brought in Scott Marshall in defence with Tom Boyd suspended and Johan Njalbi injured. Places for Larsen, Biedmar and Bratback up front, although Larsen played very deep when the game actually started. All Rangers injury doubts made the game in a first match for Claudio Reyna. Neil McCann up there with those two. Match commentator, Archie McPherson. It takes a very special breed of player indeed to absorb this atmosphere. Well, this game has been hyped up in many quarters as the old firm match of the millennium. But uh, as soon as you get inside this atmosphere, you appreciate it's no different from many of the number of games they've played before. This carries that special quality, although the Rangers did fail to win tonight. It would be the first time in 11 seasons they haven't beaten Celtic in a league match. Gato slipped that in all right. Here's Bidmar. Alberts. A bit of ball to Van Bronckhurst. Wallace going through the middle. There's a good play by Wallace. And it's in. Rangers have opened the scoring. McCann getting the touch. And Rangers have gone one up. A glorious move. After 12 minutes, burying the Celtic defence. Beautiful pattern coming out of that. Well, I did say right from the outset that he was looking dangerous. Reyna, here's McCann. Now Wallace. Free kick again as Amato made the break. And I think there's going to be a booking as Mahe becomes quite incensed about that. As a matter of fact, the free kick uh, probably does not advantage Rangers because Wallace, as the ball went through eventually, there was a break by Amato from that little scrimmage. And a stern warning given him and a yellow card. for George Alberts. He's got to have a guard at now. He plays it to the side to Amato. He's a little bit slow on the uptake. Run by Van Bronckers. Alberts. Plenty of players going forward. Tries a little touch to the outside. Bitmark coming in. Great opportunity for him, and that's just beyond the Matto. As they cut up Celtic on the left-hand side again. And at the moment, Rangers are simply piling on the pressure down this left-hand side, where Celtic don't seem, at this juncture, to have the answer. That could so easily have been the second. Marini, Al Wallace. Alberts tackled well that time. Viduka. That's the better ball now. Can Celtic flow now? Lisa. Useful ball for Mahe. Polini left stranded. And that's a good save. The kind of save I think that this is a little bit of stability for a goalkeeper in a match as tense as this. Good run inside by Mahe. Perini looking very vulnerable again. There's a Matto. Alberts wouldn't run forward. He said. But also getting in there. Nice play by Larson. Can't get up for him. And Broncos, Viduka, nice little run forward there, it just passed. The first real chance that Celtic had in the game. And Vikos can't believe he got through that Rangers defence and put it wide with a goal gaping. Just took it a little bit too casually, I think.
away. The Duke has got away. Now I think uh, the flag went up for offside. Mahe, though, is doing some damage now to Rangers on the right-hand side of their defence. I think Selby will realise that Panini might be the weakness there, but here is Maduka with a glorious little touch inside. Well, I think he just played on there. That's 
the incident there. Pulling going on, and Bidmar just to have pushed them down like that. While the Sunday players reluctant to get out of the penalty area. I always another supporter, come on. Wrestling in the middle of the penalty area. Well now, I have been at many an old firm game through the years. I don't think I've seen anything quite like this. So, George Albert. Possibly put Rangers two up, and he has. Rangers are now two up. Here's the penalty. Slickly put in. Fighting Maddie is as he's put away, and there's the Advocat. Delighted with that. They have time, whistle goes to, I may say, in all my experience, one of the most controversial games I've seen between the pair. 2-0 for Rangers. It is, of course, not unknown for Celtic to have been down to 10 men at Celtic Park in the past. And been behind and come back to win an important league game. Gentlemen, just on the platform for me, uh, David Proben was in that match. Really pursued and couldn't get the ball to a matter. Right? He's not stringing the passes together. Who cared that he takes that ball just outside the penalty area? And he really was befuddled that time. He simply did not know what to do with the ball. He was expecting players to come towards him. And he had to get that yellow card, of course. There's a free kick to Rangers right on the edge of the box. There's where he had the rush of blood to the head. Here's Amoruso with it. He's done it. Oh, no. Yes, just over. Great save. It looked as if it was in the back of the head, and I think the Rangers captain imagined that as well. He did get it through that tight defensive wall. And that goes down as a great save. felt that Wallace was going to make a run. Well, that's a good save. Brad back out of virtually nothing. Dip, difficult dipping. Ball near a very hard surface. And Klaus has had virtually nothing to do. Tested to the full. Well, Mercy there going right into that. Red tackle by Alberts. Damarissa coming away with it. The German really backtracked well there. Sometimes he's accused of being a little bit lazy in games. Damarissa, there's a chase. Here's McCann trying to go in. McCann's still there. He's still there. And a great save by Kerr. And that's the kind of difficulty he's been causing the Celtic defense right from the start. Sheer pace, aggression. And a bit of conviction about his play. Almost making it three as he went through. Albert. Beautiful play by Albert. Ball is brought down. Yes, free kick. Because annoyed with himself. And I think Because is going to be booked. I mean, surely they've learned a lesson. Vicious, taking the longest one. Down to Mato. Goes on the outside. He's still there. That must be no. McCann missing out on it. He just scrambled it away. Again, a little overexcited there. He had to keep his cool. Turn into the camp. 
In goes McCann. He's going to run the outside. He could do it here. He's done it. That does it. The championship is definitely heading for Ibrox. Their third goal, as I said, with about 16 minutes remaining. The inevitable happened. Celtic Park upfield. And the man of the match, as far as I'm concerned, the man who has caused them problems to the very end, ripping the defence apart with his break, keeping his goal. Always very difficult to go away in a diagonal as wide as that. But he came back in exactly the right manner. Rangers are three up. Well-deserved win. 
But again, after the 2 nothing, it was uh, quite difficult to concentrate on the game because uh, so many other things happened. And, uh, but again, we must be happy with the result and with the, what we have achieved uh, so far. Have you ever witnessed anything like this in a 90-minute match? No, the frustration was a little bit high for Celtic because uh, I can understand that because uh, winning here, well, that's a big thing and they did everything to uh, overcome that. But uh, again, we did real well, we were quite calm and uh, created some chance and scored the goals. Were you happy with the discipline of your players? No, of course. Uh, those players who have been sent off, they have to control themselves. Yeah. But uh, they say we have to see the circumstances which they have been on the field. Yeah, you knew who they were, didn't you?